Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Anna Marie and I am so pleased to be here again with another video for you. Now in this tutorial I will be showing you a variety of different products basically making one project. Uh, a lot of them are one of my favorite favorite products. Now for anyone who's new to our channel welcome to our channel. It's wonderful to have your company for anyone who regularly visits my uh, channel and uh, video tutorials Thank you for coming back, stopping by, and I hope you will enjoy this video. Now, uh, one of the uh, uh, products that I will be using uh, is basically this fabulous structure paste, and it's from Viva Decor. Again, we love the products, and it's uh, black and silver. So it's a structure paste. Now this product I will be using through a stencil, and this stencil, it's just a lovely, lovely dotty stencil, okay? regular, irregular dots. Now I will actually go back to our napkin technique. So I will be showing you this beautiful um, pattern again as a paper. Now I will also be using a mirror spray, one of my favorite products as well. Of course, don't forget if you haven't seen my previous videos, this uh, mirror spray need to be transferred into a spray bottle in order for you to use it. Okay, now I will also be using some of you, a lot of you will already be familiar with a garden bloom paper pads and we've got them in four different sizes, 12 by 12, 8 by 8, 7 by 7 and 6 by 6 and of course uh, in lilac, beautiful lilac, beautiful pink and beautiful blue. So in my demo today I will be using the blue, uh, the pink version, okay, only one sheet for the actual mount, however I will be also using um, these papers to die cut these brand new, brand new, okay, dye, flower dye that we've got for you, okay, and this flower dye is called gardenia flowers. It comes in four different layers, so you will see that in, in a moment as well. And also, um, separate to the gardenia flowers, we have the gardenia leaves dye as well. So all of that is already pre-cut by me, okay, in a garden bloom paper pad. So everything is now matching beautifully well. And of course, we have ionized, beautiful ionized paper. And this paper is one of my favorites because actually it goes beautifully well with any other colors, blue, pinks, turquoise, turquoises, anything like that. And I cannot not forget about obviously other embellishments that I'm gonna be bringing into it, but also one of our brand new products, okay, and it's so fabulous, um, are these two frames, but not only two frames, okay, we have a four different sets, okay, with beautiful frames, and these are laser cut in mount board, okay? So I'm only gonna use this little uh, collection on this project, but if you do check out our website, annamariedesigns.co.uk, then you will see, obviously, the full collection as well. So I think I've explained everything, and basically, I'm gonna crack on. Right, so uh, I'm gonna put these two layers together, okay? Now, of course, we oh, I always use for all my cards a Mont Blanc uh, white card. And of course, that's eight inch square. I'm also doing what I always do with all my layers, roughing up my edges. And then we will be sticking it together. Of course, after the layers are stuck on, I will show you again how to do a napkin technique on a mount using the acetate. So this is my way of doing the napkins. Of course, if you wanted to see, um, obviously if you've seen our previous video tutorials, you would have seen exactly how this is done. But of course, I love napkin technique. So you can check out exactly how that part is done. So,
so you just saw me doing uh, several different things. Um, one of them was basically applying the stencil onto it. Now, with a structure paste. Now, this product is absolutely fabulous because it's also self-adhesive. So, it looks beautiful as it is. You can see this beautiful black and stunning silver showing. Fabulous. But I also wanted to show you that you could uh, sprinkle other things into it. Okay, so, of course, you saw me uh, on my previous video, okay, doing uh, transforming the uh, crushed ice crystals into different colors. So I have my silver crushed ice here, okay, and I'm just going to show you just a little bit on the corners and the side, right, what it looks like. Can you see it? Just add in that extra silver. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Okay, so we can have that showing. I will also now add a little bit on the actual uh, normal crushed ice, just so you can see how beautifully, um, you know, you can mix all these colors together, right? And of course, I'm going to also leave a little bit of black as well. So literally on the edge, just ever so slightly here. Okay, so you can see the silver, the uh, clear and the black. So you can actually make a graduate uh, transformation of your stencil. That's fab. But I already have one pre-prepared. Okay, and I've trimmed it into a size that I need. So that's my mount and trimmed it as I said. What I am going to do, I'm just going to rough up the edges as, as uh, always and mount it onto a white piece of card and then actually mount everything onto my card and then start decorating. So what I'm going to do now, um, I've actually put a lot of things together and I do actually only have a yellow button. And this button goes beautiful, beautifully well inside my gardenia flower, but I don't want a yellow. I want a more of a sort of different color. So there are several ways of you can, uh, you can actually change the color. You can actually um, stipple that with a ceramic effect now if you wanted to start from white or uh, chalky paint, anything like that. Or uh, you can simply use a spray um, the mirror spray in, uh, in a spray bottle, spray it over and hit it. And I'm sure uh, if you haven't seen it on my previous video, that's how you simply do it. So now just a little bit of a heat. And that's it, my color has changed literally in seconds. So I'm gonna put that to the side get my clean mount and now I'm going to literally stick this pattern inside my flower we just push the glue okay there you go 
Isn't that looking fabulous? Now that's how quickly you can actually change any color using a mirror spray. That's why, that's why this product is one of my favorites. But we are not done yet. So now what I will be doing, I will be stippling a little bit of a ceramic effect onto this mount. And we're gonna quickly stamp a message from our uh, Garden Bloom door uh, stamp set and add that message to our arrangement, okay? My project is finished and um, just to let you know as well, obviously a napkin can be applied onto an MDF as well. So imagine this, um, this card given to your friend as a present. You could actually include a set of um, hard coasters um, or circle coasters using exactly the same uh, uh, napkin. Okay, so this is just a plane and onto a, an MDF and this one is just added a little bit of sparkle. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video yet, yet again and I hope to see you soon um, with another tutorial and thank you very much for watching and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.